Christmas is coming, that most wonderful time of year when Christians the world over celebrate the birth of the Christ child. The word Christmas stirs in my heart thoughts of peace, joy, hope and love. But I know it can also be a time of sadness for many people. I experienced the loss of a loved one at Christmas time many years ago. And that sad memory always stays with me. But the birth of Jesus Christ, our Saviour, and the message of peace, hope, love, and eternal life that he left for our world provides me with great comfort. I hope that life-giving and joyous message will comfort those who are feeling loss or loneliness this Christmas season. It's a privilege for me to have the opportunity to share a few thoughts with you in this Christmas message. I'd like to begin by acknowledging country. I'm here on Durrumbull country in Rockhampton, and I acknowledge and pay my respects to the Durrumbull people, the traditional custodians of the land, sea and waterways of this region. I acknowledge their elders, past, present and emerging and I extend this acknowledgement to the keepers and custodians of the country where you are today. May we continue to walk gently and respectfully with each other. The Christmas story has always provided hope and comfort in troubled times. As we reflect on the significance of the birth of Jesus over 2000 years ago, our thoughts are drawn to those who are suffering this Christmas due to war, family violence, conflict, disharmony or natural disasters. We turn to Jesus and pray for peace. Peace in our world, peace in our families, peace in our schools and peace in our local communities. At times, we can become disheartened when it seems that peace seems to stand little chance in the face of anger, hatred, bitterness and disharmony. But the spirit of Christmas gives us reason to hope that despite all the challenges our world is facing, the human heart has a fundamental longing for peace, kindness, justice and friendship. This Christmas, I pray we'll take the time to look for the heroes in our world who inspire us to love our God and love one another. I hope this past year, you've found our Catholic schools to be places of peace, joy, hope, and love, where the person of Jesus is at the heart of school life. I hope you've found our schools to be places where people genuinely care for each other and reach out with compassion to the poor, the sick, and the vulnerable in the wider community. Inspired by our Catholic ethos, it's our words and actions that show what it means to be people of goodwill, to be peacemakers, to be the face and hands of Jesus in our ministry to our students, families, colleagues, and the wider community. On behalf of Catholic education, thank you for all that you do, all the big, and little things every day. Your professionalism, thoughtfulness, and extraordinary efforts are truly appreciated. As you gather with loved ones these holidays, I hope you will be blessed with peace, joy, hope, and happiness. Have a safe and holy Christmas, and I wish you God's blessings in abundance with these beautiful young students from St Mary's North Rockhampton, we wish you Happy Christmas.